So my research is focusing on cognitive motor interference and I'm doing research in people with stroke and multiple sclerosis. So we're looking at how cognitive and motor functions interact and interfere with walking recovery in people with stroke. My interest in research was really peaked when I was an honours student as a physical therapy undergrad in Australia when I was doing research looking at how the brain controls attention. So I became really interested in attention control and then that combined with my um, physiotherapy expertise in movement rehabilitation um, is kind of how I ended up looking at cognitive motor interactions. I'm really interested in how people allocate attention or have difficulty with um, prioritizing tasks while walking, making them more susceptible to falls. So one of the projects we're working on now is a study looking at whether dual task walking and obstacle crossing can be components of an assessment at discharge to predict whether people with stroke will be fallers and become inactive when they go home. A lot of what we've focused on so far or to this point has been trying to understand which components of mobility are impacted by cognitive motor interference. And now we're really trying to understand um, what other factors can be related to that that may be making it more challenging for people to return to community ambulation. So part of what we're trying to do with our rehabilitation is not only promote improved walking ability, but also um, a behavioral change so that people feel comfortable walking outside and participating in the community activities that they might have been limited in um, during their stroke.